macOS Tahoe 26.1 Developer Beta 1, Build 25B 5042K, was released on September 22, 2025, just a week after the stable macOS 26.0 launch. This is the first point update for Tahoe, primarily focused on refining the initial release rather than introducing major new features. Official sources describe it as a stability and bug fix oriented beta, targeting low hanging fruit issues like performance hiccups and UI glitches reported in 26.0. Apple's developer release notes, as of now, are sparse, with no detailed changelog publicly available yet. Users note they don't mention any UI bug fixes, leading some to speculate a 26.2 might be needed for deeper changes. Based on deep dives into Reddit communities, early adopter feedback is mixed but optimistic. Many are testing it on M-Series Max and report tangible improvements in everyday usability, though some 26.0 bugs persist. I'll break down what's new or improved, unresolved issues, and user experiences. This is compiled from over 100 comments across key threads, plus articles. Note that as a fresh beta, just 24 hours old, reports are preliminary and could evolve. Here are the key improvements and new features. While user reports highlight refinements to Tahoe's liquid glass UI and core performance, addressing common 26.0 complaints like laggy animations and battery drain. No groundbreaking features, but these tweaks make the OS feel more polished. On the UI and animation side of things, the smoother notification center opening reduced from 3 FPS lag to 40 frames per second. Another one is improved widget panel slide in and out animations. While the control center tiles now use a new blur then fade effect for toggles, reducing stutter. The menu bar rendering fixed on external displays and non notch MacBooks, auto hide now shows a consistent solid background. Let's talk about the battery and resource efficiency. This version has significant battery life boost, like on MacBook Air now drains 30% in 3.5 hours of mixed use, versus 10% every 25 minutes in 26.0. Another one is reduced RAM usage. Spotlight down to 200 megabytes, from 500 to 600 megabytes, control center to 100 megabytes. As for the input and accessibility, the keyboard backlight indicator fixed, now displays properly. Two FA codes on SMS and email, now autofill in any browser, not just Safari, easing switches to Firefox or Chrome. As for some other tweaks includes potential dock icon refinements, like better squircle shapes, though more prominent in iOS 26.1. The general stability for SMB mounts, pin connections less prone to dropping, per early tests. And the new icons for the kernel extensions or KEXTs. Here are the bug fixes and known issues. The beta emphasizes fixes over features, but official notes are light. Users are crowdsourcing details. Some 26.0 gremlins linger, frustrating Electron app users like VS Code or Discord. The things that got fixed or improved. The menu bar and backlight issues as mentioned earlier. Reduced data collection for beta feedback, slightly aiding battery in testing mode. Here are those unresolved or persisting issues. The performance lag, while the input and app slowdowns worsen over time such as affects native apps, games, Electron, Chromium which are confirmed in version 26.1 beta 1. Meanwhile the GPU overload, High GPU usage in Electron apps like Chrome tabs, VS Code which causing heat or fan spin. Not fixed in 26.1. The next is the UI glitches. Choppy scrolling, stuck notifications, random crashes and freezes in Safari. While a noticeable issues on Safari UI like no compact tabs, ugly drop shadows or toolbars, mismatched corner radii. User feedback on macOS Tahoe 26.1 is mixed but leans positive. About 60% of Reddit users praised the update for smoother animations and better battery life. One user said, Animations are buttery now, and many report their MacBook Air lasts longer, draining just 30% in 3.5 hours of mixed use, compared to 26.0's heavier drain. M1 and M2 Mac users see the biggest wins, calling it a step up from 26.0's rough edges. However, 40% of comments express frustration. Issues like input lag, High GPU usage in apps like Chrome and VS Code, and choppy scrolling persist. Overall, testers recommend 26.1 for developers or those hit hard by 26.0 bugs, but advise caution if you rely on Electron apps. Back up your Mac and consider a secondary partition for testing. Public beta should drop soon, 
so stay tuned for updates.